This is a picture of Mr. Lynch's second period class. They should look familiar at this point in time. What you guys are going to do today, hopefully you have already read the outline for what this project entails. Now I'm going to explain it further because uh, there's been some question as to what exactly you're supposed to do and when. So here's how it's going to line up. There are three gas laws that we're going to focus on. Charles' law, Boyle's law, and Gay-Lussac's law. You guys are going to become experts on one of these laws, and you are going to teach your fellow classmates that particular law. Others will be experts on one of the others, and they will teach you. Here's how that's going to play out for this particular assignment. You will use your Chromebooks to research your particular gas law. Group 1, you will be Charles' law. Family 2, you will be Boyle's law. Family 3, you will be Gay-Lussac's law. Family 4, back to Charles. Family 5, to Boyle's. Family 6, to Gay-Lussac's. 7, to Charles. 8, to Boyle's. 9, to Gay-Lussac's. Okay, next I'm going to lay out what you're actually going to have to do. There are three components to this particular project. First up, and this should be done today, there is an individual paper. That means that Alyssa will write her own paper about Boyle's Law, Jeanette will write her own paper about Boyle's Law, Anna will write her own paper about Boyle's Law, and Ashley will write her own paper about Boyle's Law. The second part is a group handout. That means that Family 5, Anna and Alyssa and Jeanette and Ashley, will all work together to create one group handout. This group handout is meant to teach the other classmates who either have Charles or Gay-Lussac's law about Boyle's law. I would include a history of who Boyle was, how to solve one of the Boyle's law problems, a couple practice problems for your other people to solve, and how it's used in the real world. This applies to everyone, I'm just using their group as an example. The final thing you'll need to do today is if there is time, you will create a combined demonstration. So that means everyone who has Charles Law, Family 1, Family 4, and Family 7 will work together to create a demonstration that will show Charles Law. That also means that Family 2, Family 5, and Family 8 will work together to create a demonstration that will show Boyle's Law. And lastly, 3, 6, and 9 will work together to create a demonstration that will show Gay-Lussac's law. Hopefully this has cleared up what you're doing today. Uh, Carly, you don't have anything next to you, so there, that's for you. Carly, if you could organize my desk and potentially um, go through and mark who has turned in what, that would be super helpful. Thanks, Carly. All right, so... Hopefully that answers the majority of your questions. If you have a question that hasn't been answered by this video, you can ask someone in another family if they think they've got it. Good luck. The main point of today will be finishing the individual paper and attempting to finish the group handout. You have 90 minutes, so this should be very possible. You will need to save all your sources so that you can cite them for the individual paper and the group handout. It may be that we need to work on combined demonstrations starting on Tuesday so that you have a better idea of what I'm looking for and if you can actually do the demonstration. Anticipate doing your presentation to the individual groups that you'll be working with on Wednesday of next week. Thursday for you guys. Excuse me. All right. Good luck. See you next Tuesday.